ground, still working to clear up the debris from that fiery crane collapse that happened yesterday. Investigators now taking a closer look at the owner of the crane as they try to piece together what went wrong. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is in Midtown with the very latest for us. Janice, good morning. Good morning. Still a lot of activity here today um, and take a look. The part of the crane that actually fell is still here. A part of it uh, in that scaffolding area and kind of uh, leaning into 10th Avenue right now and the cleanup and investigation into exactly what went wrong continues this morning. So this crane was about 45 stories up on a building that was under construction. It was pouring concrete, constructing a new high rise. Now authorities say it appears a hydraulic fluid leak is what caused the crane to catch on fire, uh, weakening and snapping the cable that was holding up 16 tons of concrete. A part of the crane then collapsed, sending it and the concrete plummeting to the ground. In all, 11 people had minor injuries, two of them firefighters. We talked to workers who were inside the construction site, and they said they were terrified as they ran for their lives. Once we started running down the building, we just heard a big boom. Everyone's like, get out of the building, get out of the building. I looked at my partner, I said, both of us, we knew we got to get out of here, man. It was something out of a movie, you see, some, something out of a movie. It was, it, was, it was something else. I was like, thank God everybody's all right, but as I'm in the building, I could have swore it was my last day. Also learning more about the company that owns the crane, New York Crane and Equipment. Uh, back in March of 2008, one of its cranes collapsed on East 51st and 2nd Avenue. Seven people died then. And then in May of that same year, two workers died on the Upper East Side. The company and then owner were charged with manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide, and they were later found not guilty. Now, we do know the crane operator attempted to put out the flames. Others ran up with fire extinguishers. And when I talked to workers yesterday, they actually said a couple of them, when they ran down the building, uh, went into 10th Avenue to stop traffic to prevent any more cars from coming uh, before the part of the crane and that concrete fell. Live in Midtown.